Scott Woodward with you to talk about the Sydney Roosters, who finished 11th in 2011. And look, I don't think they'll do much better in 2012. Uh, it's not because they haven't got the talent. They've got a wonderful list. Uh, I just think they fall in in a couple of key areas for me. I'm very big on the spine positions, and the Roosters have still got Anthony Minicello as their fullback, and they've still got Braith and Nasta, who will probably hold down the number six position. So that's two, if you like, players who have got way past their best stamp across their forehead playing key spine positions, and I just can't have that. Um, Anthony Minicello in particular doesn't rate in the top ten fullbacks in Sydney for line breaks and metres gain when you're bringing the ball back, and that's just not good enough when you're playing such an important position as fullback. He just doesn't look dangerous when he's got the ball, uh, Anthony Minicello. Uh, he's got some promising young kids um, that were challenging for that position. Uh, Hanari Wells, Alofa, Alofa Roger Tavasa, Sheck, they're all very promising young kids. Whether or not they're ready in 2012, I'm not sure. But um, Anthony Minicello is very, very sweet at the Roosters. Uh, he brought in a sponsor. Um, when you bring in a million-dollar sponsor, maybe that's a good reason for you to be picked in first grade. I'm not sure. Uh, he's certainly been a wonderful servant to the club. But, you know, look, maybe they can play him on the wing. Uh, but not fullback as far as I'm concerned. He doesn't scare anybody. I don't ever expect him to make a break when he's got the ball and bring him back. Um, so that's one of the biggest problems for the Roosters. Braith Anasta is in the same boat. Uh, he's not not uh, a 5'8". He doesn't scare anybody, um, but he, he's m more comfortable in that position than when he plays in the second row. So, look, I'm not quite sure um, where you play a guy. When you're paying him that amount of money, he's got to play in a key spot in a key spine position, uh, and he just um, uh, he just doesn't rate it there for me as far as I'm concerned. He's way past his best. He had quite a good year last year, but when you're paying a guy 400000 plus, quite a good year is not good enough as far as I'm concerned. Um, and I understand that uh, Anastha, Anastha has taken a, a pay drop, but it would have to be a significant pay drop as far as I'm concerned. For me, he's a 220-250k player now. Um, he's not as fast, doesn't look dangerous. Um, number six, no way known as far as I'm concerned. Uh, look, there's a lot of talent in the back line, and I think we're going to see a lot from this Roosters team in years to come. It's been very, very well set up, and if they get some of the guys that they're talking about getting in 2013, they certainly will be a premiership contender next year. Um, look, um, uh, Penny Tagave, Adam Henry, I think will be a contender for one of the wing positions. Um, BJ Lulila, Justin Carney will be in the centres there. Sean Kenny Dow will hold down one of the positions in the centres. Um, but the big young gun for the Roosters is their up and coming Toyota Cup star, Tautoy Moga. Uh, he could be anything. He could be, uh, well, let's, let's not go um, putting silly names uh, on who he could be. But he's one of the promising, um, one of the most promising young centres that I've seen in many years. And the Roosters have done very well to get him and to snare him on a contract. And I'm really looking forward to seeing how he goes this year. He'll be a definite starter in the first grade side. Tatu Maga, remember that name. He'll be representing and be around for many years to come. Um, Sam Perrett, we've talked about as being the other wing position. Uh, I'm I love the way he takes the ball up, but he's a liability in defence and a liability with the high ball. I'm not a big fan of him on the wing. I think he's a fullback. I'd much rather him playing fullback than Anthony Minicello, put it that way. Uh, Braith and Esther, we've talked about um, in the 5'8 position. Daniel Mortimer is another guy he'll be in contention for that position. Uh, and unless Daniel Mortimer has improved that aside, he's not a first grade player as far as I'm concerned. He's only tiny, he's awful in defence, hasn't got a good passing game, and hasn't got a good kicking game. He's, he's got a fair bit of speed, which is a wonderful asset, but you need more than that when you're going to hold down a key six or seven position. Mitchell Pearce is one of the strengths of the side. He puts in every week, never has a bad game. He has, has got all the skills. He's, he's not a superstar. He's not a Jonathan Thurston. He's not in that class, but he is an outstanding club player. Um, I thought he was out of place playing first, playing um, State of Origin for New South Wales last year. Um, he had he had a couple of handy games and one shocker. Um, but for club, he puts in every week, never has a bad game, and um, he's really crying crying out for some good halves combination. Crying shame to see the Carney uh, Pierce combination broken up because I really thought it was coming somewhere and really would have liked to have seen it um, combine in the years to come at club level. I think um, they could have done some wonderful things. I wouldn't be surprised if they pal up again for the state of origin.
Uh, as far as the forwards are concerned, outstanding depth in the forward pack. Uh, none better than uh, the promising Martin Kelly, who may very well be playing State of Origin for Queensland in 2012. He was injured last year, and I think we'll see the best of him this year. Martin, Kel- Martin Kennedy, what a wonderful future he has got. Um, Frank Paul Nuasala will be another guy who'll be one of the contenders for a proposition along with a Mossy Maso. Uh, Jared will wear a Hargrave. So there's a lot of depth there um, on the prop bench. Uh, Jake Friend, who was the best player for uh, the Roosters last year. A uh, wonderful comeback by Jake Friend, um, and he'll put in again. They try to play him for 80 minutes, and like he can play 80 minutes, but he's very, very suspect in the last 10 minutes of both halves um, in defence. He misses a lot of bad tackles, and I really don't think he is an 80-minute player. Um, I'd like to see him um, come off in that last 10 minutes of each half and somebody like an Anthony Mitchell come in, a nice fresh guy who will look much more dangerous and maybe not miss the tackles that Jack, Jack makes in the latter 10 minutes of each of the halves. Um, in the, um, the back row, once again, a lot, a lot of depth, uh, but none better than um, uh, Aidan Gura, who uh, did some wonderful things last year, and he's a r- wonderful club player. I think um, he'll be one of the, con- one of the starters uh, for the forwards there in the back row, along with Mitch Orbison, who had some injuries last year and had a wonderful year before that. And if he can return to his form of two years ago, um, uh, he should be the uh, combination there with Aidan Gura. Um, the very exciting and very promising Boyd Cordner, who has had enormous injuries. It was great to see him back in the latter part of last year, and he's now finally had a good uh, off-season under his belt. So we can now see really what Boyd Cordner is all about, what all the hoo-ha is about. Uh, we're expecting good things of him. I'm hoping he can hold down that lock forward position um, and be a real gun for the Roosters in years to come. A very, very exciting player, Boyd Cordner. Um, young Tom Simons has been re-signed by the Roosters, uh, which is a good sign for him. He's he's um, put on a bit of weight, got a lot of natural speed, can play in the backs, can play in the forwards. Um, one of the promising kids from the Toyota Cup, Kane Evans, I think we'll be seeing a little bit of in first grade this year. Uh, Lama Tassi, the young kid who played for New Zealand last year, um, he, he is going from strength to strength. A lot of things are uh, expected of him um, in Rooster country. Uh, Anthony Charrington is still not 100%, still recovering from his injuries from last year. But like board coordinator, Anthony Charrington, Anthony Charrington uh, is a part of the Roosters' future. Uh, they really are expecting big things from Coordinator and Charrington um, in 2012. And he may not start in the first few rounds um, of 2012, but when he does come on and when he gets fit, you're going to see a very special player in Anthony Charrington. I think he's got it all. Uh, he's very strong, wonderful in defence, can bust tackles and got genuine speed for a forward. Uh, terrific young kid. Jake Bosnan, a guy who uh, the Roosters have uh, stolen from um, the Dragons, um, is also promising. Uh, he's a handy guy to call on off the bench. And some of their promising kids, and we saw some of them last year, uh, Brad Takaranji, uh, um, Arona, who they, who, who come on last year, did some good things. And another guy called, uh, Josh Ella Mahoa, uh, also very promising and, uh, looking forward to see if he gets a Guernsey in first grade next year. So look, there it is for me. The, uh, the Roosters have lost some players and, but they've got some wonderful young talent. They've got so many wonderful, talented kids under 21 who I think will be getting a taste of first grade in 2012. And um, while I think they'll struggle to play semi-final football, I think you're going to see um, a lot of wins um, from some very talented young players in the Roosters side and will set them up for a really good year um, in 2013 where I expect they'll have a, a new look um, side um, and they'll have a new look spine position. I expect that they'll have a new fullback and they'll have a new 5-8 uh, which is really what they want and really is what is stopping me from saying that I think they'll play semi-final football in 2012. But look, all doesn't look um, too bad for the Roosters. Um, don't worry too much about this year, but I think they'll be competitive in any game they play. I just don't want to be on them to play semi-final football at the odds they are. Good luck.